Hello everyone, my name is Chastity, aka Luna Beams, and I want to welcome you to my channel. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You always brighten my day. So my lovely lights, I have a interesting video for you today. Back in 2021, I went to the very first Paracon where they display the occult museum items from Ed and Lorraine Warren. And I was privileged enough to get to watch Tony Sparrow speak. And one of the things that he had a question from the audience about was his involvement with Zach Bagans and how the whole Annabelle thing went back for the Halloween special in 2017. There's been a lot of controversy over this subject. And I just now got this footage back back i had it missing for a while i uh, had some issues with my phone and figuring out where it was but i finally have got all of the footage back from both of my trips so i just wanted to drop this in on you guys so happy friday um i guess i will go ahead and say that there's a lot of controversy like people you know really love ghost adventures or they really like tony Spera, and i've don't particularly want to choose a side. I'm just the messenger, so please don't please don't come at me for this. This is just what he said. I thought it was interesting. This is a this was a live conference type thing that we got to record up in Connecticut. So in light of everything happening as well, I figured why not release it now? I literally just got it today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. And thanks for watching the video. I'm just going to end on what Tony has to say about Zach. Without being disrespectful to the doll, certainly someone, I, my opinion, was disrespectful and, and touched it. Um, I don't think that's something that should be tolerated. Um, I don't know who you're talking about, but the name is probably Zach Bates. Right? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm not going to trash Zach too much because I'm probably in this audience to somebody who loves Zach and is going to complain to him. Not that I, not that I care because I was disregarded. But he is a rude son of a gun, I tell you that. And I personally, as you know, met him. I'll tell you a quick story. I hear what happened with Zach. I don't know if you guys are perfectly honest about what I do. They called me up said, what would it take for us to have the doll at the museum in Las Vegas with Zach? I said, I can't do it. Too dangerous, too reckless of me to do it. A week goes by, the producer called me up. Zach really wants to do an investigation around that doll. We'll be very respectful. I said, no, I can't do it. I'm not offering any money. About a month later, another producer called me and said, what's it going to take, Zach? really wants to do an investigation around that doll. Now I'm figuring, how am I going to get rid of these people? I'm going to ask for money, because they never give you money. And I'm going to ask for first class ticket for me and for the doll. That'll shut them up. The child show was one day anything to anybody. But I said, first class ticket for me, first class ticket for Annabelle. Next to me on the seat, I'm not putting it in the cargo. I'm going to put it in the case. And first class hotel and money. She goes, how much money? I said, $5,000. I said, OK, we can do that. <laughs> so now, 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 now I'm saying to myself, they call my bluff. They call my bluff. But Ed did tell me how to protect the doll. And five thousand dollars in my pocket looks pretty good. I was getting greedy really thinking about it. And that's what happens to you. I said, I could do it. They said they give him the, the doll another seat, and they said they won't touch it. They said you'll never be out of my sight until I ask that. So I don't want out of my second. Okay, now, I've never been to Vegas, so let's, let's go. I made a mistake. I should not have actually done that. Ed would have probably said, what are you nuts? You know, or Ed would have said, you should ask for 100 grand. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't really the money. I mean, but here's what happened when I got there. I'm in a kitchen at the museum, which is, this museum is worth about five million at least. The artifacts in there, stuff you bought, worth a lot of money. And two and a half hours, I'm sitting there doing nothing with the doll next to me in the case. Finally, the producer says, there's the door, oh, we're gonna open it and look out to the foyer and he's almost ready for you. So I'm standing there, I'm tired. I went 3,000 miles, I stayed a day in a hotel. I got to travel 100 degree weather to the museum. And they crack open the door, Zach's all dressed in black, with big glasses on. 
and he's pointing to the camera guy directing him, like he's the producer. Then he looks over at me, doesn't really make eye contact, and he goes, there's your mark there. Not, hello, hey, thanks for coming, hey, good to see you, nothing. He didn't talk to me whatsoever until the camera in the road. And then he said, this is Tony Sparrow, the owner of the doll. Not, this is Tony Sparrow, Ed Ring Warren's son-in-law, a psychic researcher for many years. Blah, blah. <laughs> this is Tony Sparrow, the owner of the doll. So, it's like I'm nobody, just the owner, I happen to buy it or something. Yeah. Not any background of who I got it from. You know? So, during the filming, he started to act kind of weird. The producer comes up to me, is it normal? for people to be affected like this. I go, what do you mean? Zach's acting worse than we ever saw him before. These are producers, these are the guys walking around. He's acting funny. So I go up to Zach, goes, yeah, I'm acting funny. I'm hearing stuff in my mind. I feel it might be a medical issue, but I'm not sure. That's Zach saying this. Then he gets better. Then he starts filming. Then he starts his act about, he's saying this to me. I think I want to hug her. I said, what do you mean with that? I feel, I feel a passion. I think she's trying to tell me that she's wrong. I'm saying, in fact, she's an evil dog. Don't touch the dog. <laughs> <laughs> goes, but, but I think I must. It's still an act to me. And I'm saying to you, you can't touch the dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't touch the dog. I'm taking the dog away. When I got there, when I took the dog out and showed him how I did it, I had big, what heavy, wealthy gloves on. Drenched my hands, but I told him, have ready a gallon of holy, real holy water. Drenched my hands. Quickly put the doll where it's supposed to be and stop. And then did the blessing, did the white light, and everything. I had them do the blessing. Zach did not bless himself. So, uh, <laughs> I had to show them. And they were all like super respectful until the cameras were rolling. Then they were starting to act like jerks. I started warning them. I said, hey, if Zach does that, they have me 50 feet away in the monitor room. I said, if Zach touches it, it's over. One of the producers comes in, boy, after. I never saw an act like this. It was like black and white and red. Monitor. I never saw him acting this way, but I don't know if he touched it or not. I said, well, if he touched the doll, I said, I'm shutting this down. I stood up, walked up to Zach, who was on his knees near the doll. I said, I'm taking the doll back. I said, you shouldn't have touched it, Zach, but you did. I put it back in the case, and I was waiting for him in the other room. And um, they cut, they, they had to fill in the original broadcast. They only went 45 minutes and they filled it in with some other cast case, you know, the original premiere, because they didn't have enough footage to go an hour. And uh, so after, now remember, when I made that deal, I said, oh, by the way, when I land and walk into the museum, I want the check, because I know how these people are. I'm going to send it to you. They didn't give me the check before I walked in. They waited. So, okay. So at the, uh, at the end, I kept asking, where's the check? They didn't want to check. See you later. I'm like, well, where's the check? I had to wait like an hour. And Zach was up to me. Here's your check. And he walked away like he's doing me a big favor, you know? And I made 5000 He made 90000 that episode. So he's calling me like, saying on, on the internet, oh, you got to cast a big check. Well, he cast a bigger one, you know? Anyway, you know what? We're out of time, right? We're out of time. We're out of time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that sums it up. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.